good evening i hope my slides are visible and i'm audible yes sir okay so good evening to one and all and thank you nikhil and thank you amol for giving this opportunity so i hope i do justice to this topic uh, it's an important topic uh, maybe i'll try to wrap up in 5 to 10 minutes so the landscape of alk alteration is very important in nsclc we should not miss this because uh, i'll show you why uh we know that the lung cancer in india is uh, very high uh, these are the globocon 2018 data and same is the mortality we lose almost 90% of them hardly uh, 5 to 10% survive for a long term uh we know the world data also almost 20% or 20% of the patient are uh, lung cancer all over the world with almost 2.1 million new cases and uh, the most important is uh, nsclc constitutes almost 80 to 85% of them the five year overall survival data is not very good less than 25% and in stage 4 patient distant metastasis it's much more worse so it is almost less than 10% but uh, the disease uh, has uh, become better we have tamed the lung cancer little better with the knowledge of molecular markers and uh, the cartoon shows the diagram shows the various molecular markers which we play with and uh, we see better outcome when we target this molecular markers so very short background of alk uh, the discovery of alk has started in lymphoma as we all know uh, more than two decades back uh, it is not only present in lymphoma but it is seen in many other tumors uh, our point of interest here will be for the lung where uh, almost 3 to 7% patients of lung cancer have eml4 alk fusion uh, mutation so the discovery in lung has happened in in last 15 years 2007 and basically it's a gene rearrangement uh, where there is a fusion of uh, eml4 to alk and uh, this causes activation of the protein synthesis so we have seen a big evolution from last uh, 13 to 15 years uh, starting from 2007 till now and we have seen first generation second generation and third generation alk uh, inhibitors uh, coming in and uh, showing in better and better effect so this is what has happened when we have gone from first to second and second to third generation the potency the cns penetration as well as the alk resistant coverage has improved so we'll go one by one and we'll see how it has improved so the first of the first line study is uh, profile 1014 the crisotinib study uh, where it was compared uh, with uh, the standard of care uh, pemetrexid and platinum and pfs was the uh, primary endpoint so we see that the uh, pfs was achieved it was a positive trial and it uh, made crisotinib as a first line uh, in uh, alk positive uh, nsclc patients so the improvement was almost by 4 months uh, chemotherapy 7 and crisotinib 11 months same thing was seen in uh, seritinib when it was used against chemotherapy and we see the pfs was almost double uh, the chemotherapy remained at 7 to 8 months and seritinib improved almost 16 months uh, then comes the third molecule which is electinib and uh, this is a nice global elec study where electinib was not compared to the chemotherapy which is a weaker arm but to crisotinib which is a better arm uh, and that time standard of care and again the pfs was the uh, primary endpoint and we see the updated analysis a staggering difference between crisotinib and alectinib in first line uh, 11 months versus almost 35 months uh, not only in all patient but also in cns positive cns metastasis patient we see an improvement of 7 versus 27 months so this is definitely a very uh, staggering difference uh, i have never seen any tki doing better than this so if we compare all the tkis in the naive patients uh, alectinib is a clear winner uh, with a super pfs of almost 35 months uh, brigatinib again uh, was uh, seen versus crisotinib uh, and uh, we can see the pfs uh, this is a 2018 slide but a recent update of 2020 has shown the after almost 25 months of median follow up the pfs advantage of crisotinib was 11 and brigatinib was almost 24 months so it is still little less than alectinib so what happens once the patient starts progressing on first line so the progression is of two different types oligo progression where we see local treatment we do the local treatment and we continue the same tki or is is a systemic progression where we change the tki if patient is very symptomatic 
and sometimes we continue TK if the radiological progression is only there and it is not much troublesome. So what happens uh, when we change to the second line uh, and we have multiple uh, uh, drugs in that, uh, serotinib, alectinib, brigatinib, and these are the three curves and we can see the PFS comparison. So lorlatinib is a newer one which has come into the competition and we can see uh, that in alectinib, the around eight to nine months is the PFS. Serotinib around five to seven months PFS. Brigatinib here looks very promising in second line, almost 16 months of PFS. And Orlatinib, we don't have a, a endpoint uh, because it is not yet reached. So Orlatinib uh, is a recent, this is a very nicely done study, phase one, phase two study with uh, multiple cohorts uh, uh, looking for naive patient, uh, first line patient, second line patient, third line patient. Uh, so definitely this was a very nicely done study. Uh, it has been uh, discussed a lot yesterday uh, in, uh, in the last speaker, by the last speaker. So I'll not go much into the detail of it, but uh, I'll come to the conclusion slide of that, that it definitely showed a clinically meaningful benefit in, uh, in patients who have received prior crizotinib uh, and also second generation TKI, not only in those, but also in TKI in naive patient, it has shown a good benefit. Uh, irrespective of the resistant mutation, it has shown a good uh, response. Uh, the most difficult to treat, that is G1202R uh, mutation, which is the most difficult. Uh, even it has shown response in those patients. And those patients without detectable mutation also had shown a good response. And it is generally well tolerated. Uh, we know what are the common side effects which can happen, uh, mainly the diselect, uh, dis uh, the, the lipid profile, which is deranged, and we can keep a check on that and uh, keep the TARAs and EAs under control. So when we come to the third generation, the only available data currently what we have uh, is crown study, where lolatinib was compared with crizotinib. And uh, there is a staggering difference again, uh, the same 10 months different, 10 months PFS of crizotinib versus uh, uh, not achieved for lorat lolatinib. And probably we have to see whether it crosses the electinib uh, landmark of 34.8 months. So the PFS was good across all subgroup. Safety summary was not much different than what we have seen in the phase one and two trial, phase one and two uh, study. And uh, uh, it had shown an excellent intracranial response of almost 82% with 71% complete response rate, which has not been seen with uh, most of the TKIs uh, in first and second generation. Safety profile was not much different, uh, what was seen in phase one and two study. And uh, this supports the lorlatinib to be an effective first line therapy. Uh, so in summary, the targeting ALK fusion is clearly the standard of care. So we have to do the uh, mutation analysis for all the patient. Second and third generation are more effective. They can treat the resistant mutation. It is used also in treating and preventing the CNS metastasis with a longer PFS and OF. Sequencing is a tricky thing. Uh, we have to learn slowly how to do it. And uh, approximately 35% patients are going to get compound ALK mutation on the use of lorlatinib. And probably there will be a big amount of, uh, big number of patients who will be mostly refractive to all known ALK inhibitors. Uh, lastly, lorlatinib definitely has a unique side effect which we typically can manage easily. So it, uh, it probably is one of the promising agents. So sequencing can be any of these options. Uh, my personal choice is alectinib, the last one, followed by lorlatinib and chemoimmunotherapy, where we can see an overall survival, we can easily cross four or five years. Uh, the answer to the sequencing probably will come from this ALK master protocol. Uh, this is a very nice study. Uh, we'll see what are the results of it. Every uh, chrysotinib is a standard arm, and then the second generation A, B, and C. Uh, alectinib, brigatinib, and serotinib. And then there is a progression. With each progression, they are doing an NGS and they are uh, studying the deep sequencing uh, and ALK resistant mutation. So uh, not uh, last but not the least, but there is definitely, there are future, uh, in, the, in the future, we have much more from the ALK. So not only in metastatic setting, but uh, starting from the curative setting, uh, there are studies undergoing for unresectable stage 2 or 3 NSCLC where radiation is given with epinevo and yesterday a lot was uh, lot a lot discussion was going on that EGFR and ALK they do not respond to immunotherapy uh, probably this uh, study will tell us 
that uh, immunotherapy also does equally good in EGFR L patients also. Uh, not only in unresectable neoadjuvant, but even in adjuvant, alectinib versus chemo has been studied. Uh, Crisotinib versus observation has been studied for alchemist trial. And uh, chrysotinib is also being studied in a new adjuvant setting, whether it is showing any response or not. Uh, these are certain newer molecules, uh, TQB3139. Uh, it is a combined ALK and CMET inhibitor, which has a higher uh, activity than chrysotinib. Then uh, standard chemotherapy plus minus toripalimib, that is uh, anti pdl one uh, In recurrent disease, a national lung matrix is going on to see whether chrysotinib is, uh, how the chrysotinib is going to work in those patients. Uh, slowly, the trend towards treating lung as an oligometastatic disease by using ALK-TKI versus local treatment or a combination of ALK-TKI like brigatinib plus uh, local consolidative therapy or a SBRT plus ALK TKI. So probably in future, we'll also treat oligometastatic disease of lung with curative intent. Mm -hmm. Then there are certain other molecules which are going to come like uh, foritinib succinate in the second line. And it is very, very effective against this uh, 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 resistant mutation, which I have mentioned. And uh, in future, we'll also see combination of alectinib plus cobimetinib, how it works, seretinib plus trametinib, ensartinib, uh, and uh, not to forget electinib plus bevacizumab. The role of uh, uh, VEGF is not even uh, not only in uh, EGFR, but probably in ALK also, especially in brain metastatic patients. And uh, post chrysotinib definitely we have uh, two new agents. One I already mentioned, TKP3139. Uh, Brigatinib versus electinib, who is the winner, will come to know. And uh, there is one more newer molecule called as alcotinib, which is going to be uh, used in future. And beyond the second line, what we have when we have exhausted most of our uh, therapy or the first line therapy, uh, what are the other things which are going to help us? So the ABCB type of a regimen where platinum, pemidrexate, atezolizumab and plus minus bevacizumab is being used. Uh, Pembro plus platinum doublet and LTKIs is used in recurrent setting. Uh, alternate, very, very novel kind of a, uh, therapy which I have come across is an alternate uh, trial where post second generation LPKI, they are using an alternate regimen of using lor lorlatinib eight weeks, followed by chrysotinib four weeks. So they keep alternating lorlatinib and chrysotinib, those patients who have progressed on second generation, and this goes uh, indefinitely till the patient progresses. Again, uh, use of Evrolimus with serotinib, uh, probably to overcome the resistant, uh, then brigatinib in post alectinib or serotinib post second generation TKI, this is the ELTA two trial, uh, brigatinib combination with met inhibitor like binimatinib and there is some new uh, uh, combination of al cross one and fac inhibitor with this apg2449 so i would stop with this uh, this is our hospital this is my team and uh, thank you i hope uh, this was quite educative to you and i hope that we can care the lung cancer much better uh, thank you